Okay, everybody, gather around. There's a few new ideas that I wanted to talk to you about, some new inspirations for some new knives. Uh, I think, you know, coming into the spring, we need to kind of recreate our image. And I want to get away from the old image of making razor sharp, high performance knives that are really easy to sharpen and maintain. And I want to kind of go in a new direction to keep things fresh for our customer base. Okay, you with me so far? Okay, so the first new concept knife. We know that our knives are often used in the big cities for self-defense and for knife fights. In fact, just like in the Wild West, the two guys pairing off with their big Bowie knives, our knives have been documented to be used like that several times every week. So what I want to do is make something that's really uh, awesome looking and intimidating that will prevent the knife fight from even happening before it takes place. So what I got envisioned here is is a, a blade upside down like this with its cutting edge here and then another bigger blade angled down with a cutting edge like this. You can see already how intimidating this looks. See? And then that's going to culminate here into a nice AR-15 style pistol grip here, you see? But we're not going to call this a knife or a gun knife. This is going to be called a gun knife for gun knife. Okay, so that's concept number one. Okay, now knife concept number two. We've had a lot of complaints recently that our knives are just too sharp, especially our kitchen knives. And like when mothers give kitchen knives to their daughters when they're teaching them how to cook and so on. We've had some document cases where they just touched their fingers and their whole hand got cut off. So I have this new idea that's going to be a little bit safer than the knives that we've been putting out so far. So what we'll do is we'll have a nice handle, kind of standard style handle with a nice brass guard. And the blade is going to kind of look like this. So look, watch carefully how this, how this works. It's a nice Santuco style, okay? And then the blade tapers, and see? See where the tip goes? The tip goes right in like this, you see? So it's a cutting edge. Look carefully how clever this is thought of. The cutting edge, you see, is protected by the spine of the blade. And we could, we could make that a tighter curl or a, or, or, or a or a more loose curl, depending. But you see, to cut things like a carrot or whatever, you just put the carrot in there and you just wave it back and forth. And so they can cut everything they need to cut with very little danger to themselves. So that's concept knife number two. You guys with me so far? Good idea, huh? Okay, concept knife number three. Okay, we like the kitchen knife handle. It's pretty standard, it's pretty orthodox, time proven. Got a little brass guard there. Now, the thing is, is that when you cut food, like an onion with a super sharp knife, we know that that super sharp knife does such little cell damage, and, and, it, and it's so sharp that people don't even cry when they cut onions with our, with our kitchen knives anymore. And, you know, what fun is cutting an onion if you can't tear up about it, right? So I came up with this new idea, and especially it works really good with garlic. It's instead of cutting and slicing your food finely, why not just crush it. So we, what we got here is a knife handle with a nice steel rod and f hanging from that rod is a chain and then attached to the chain is like a ball, like a wrecking ball, right? So you can just you can just drop that on your garlic or your onions or whatever, and you get all that flavor. Think of it especially like a Caesar salad when you want to crush the garlic into the wooden bowl. Nothing is going to be better than this. So this is our concept knife number three. So what do you guys think? I think we're going to be able to recreate Carter Cutlery this spring, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get busy. Let's get making these knives. Hey everybody, not to worry. We're not going to change a thing at Carter Cutlery. We're going to keep producing the same knives you've come to expect. April Fools. I came in like